Hi! Welcome to Troglojam's guitar lesson number 2. The lick you just heard is taken from Troglojam's cover of Freedom Jazz Dance by Alan Karen. You can find the link to the full version in the description. This lick features legato technique, the Dorian flat 2 scale, and polyrhythm ideas. We will get into the details in this video. For those who are watching this video on YouTube, there is a sound slice version of the video which is synced with the guitar tab and has other cool features. Check out the link to Troglojam's channel on SoundSlice.com in the description. Let's get started. This lick is based around a B-flat Dorian flat 2 scale, played over B-flat minor 7th chord. If you are already familiar with the Dorian scale, just flat the 2nd degree of the Dorian scale. In this case, we flat the C note. In fact, the Dorian flat 2 scale is from the melodic minor scale. It is the second mode of the melodic minor scale. In this case, we are actually playing an A-flat melodic minor scale over B-flat minor 7th chord. Although the playing is rather scalar in this lick, you can still hear a bit of unique flavor from this scale. <laughs> We are going to use slides, hammer-ons, and pull-offs in this lick to give a smooth sound. The idea is, just pick the first note every time you cross a string. You also use a slide to extend the time you stay on a string. For example, you can actually play five different notes on a string by picking only once. You can stay even longer by going up and down the scale on one string. The trick to playing this little looping part is to focus your ear on the rhythmic pattern of those notes that are picked. I am talking about the first and the last note on this five note loop. Let's take away the legato notes for a moment. The picked notes actually form a repetitive rhythmic pattern that is three beats long. Now the key is to practice this 3-beat rhythmic pattern over and over again so you feel comfortable hearing it over the underlying 4-4 time. You should focus on the rhythmic accuracy of your picking hand. When you are comfortable doing that, you can add the legato notes back but you should still focus on getting the picked notes locked to the rhythmic pattern. And for the remaining part, it's a bluesy phrase based on the B-flat Dorian scale. Here's the entire lick once again.
That's all for today's lesson. Hopefully it gives you some insight about what is going on in this lick. Thank you for watching, and please like, share, and subscribe. Here's a bonus lick for you. Thank you for watching till the end. Listen carefully. Can you spot any of the ideas discussed in this lesson?